In this presentation, we would like to show the result of using our 3D transient model to quantify the transient effect on critical heat flux. And this kind of simulation cannot be done by tradition subchannel analysis code. And this is our re simulation result. Um, the x axis represent time, and the y axis represent heat flux. And during all simulation, the max flux is constant, is 352. And the red line um, is the critical heat flux at steady state. Uh, we get it from the experiment. In the first two seconds, we heat up the liquid film at a low heat flux, which is half of experiment CHF, critical heat flux. And you can see there is no dry out. Then we heat up the liquid film at two different rate. One is higher, the blue line, and one is lower, the green line. And you can see for the higher heat up rate will dry out at high heat flux. And low heat up rate will dry out at lower heat flux. And in this two case, both um, are higher than the steady state critical heat flux. So if we use the steady state critical heat flux as the safety limit, so under this heat flux, under this uh, critical heat flux, there will be no dry out in transient condition. So that the using the critical heat flux at steady state is conservative in transient condition.